Hello everyone, I am Maria, and today along with my co-host Robert, he's around here somewhere. I've got insider access to the Honda showroom here in downtown Port of Spain, and a close look at two of the most talked about cars in TNT, starting with the Honda CRV. Ever thought about what CRV stands for? Is it compact road vehicle? crossover recreational vehicle, comfortable runabout vehicle, or civic racing vehicle? Hmm, the answer is, to be honest, I have zero idea. <laughs> Where is Robert anyway? Of course, he's already at the CRV negotiating a test drive. I got my first test drive in the CRV, VJ Matra's demand. The encyclopedia from what I'm hearing, all things with regards to this particular vehicle. So guess where we're going? Beaches open, man's in a lot. Sounds good. You ever been to Manza? No. It's cool. Um, first thing, first thing, nice leather seats, feels good, feels comfortable. Air conditioned pumping, which is good. Cool like ice. Um, cool like ice. Love the digital display. Anything in particular need to know before I buckle up and adjust mirrors? According to what you want to see in front of you, your multi-information display button, so we could go at the fuel economy. Fancy and thing. I don't, no, I don't want any fuel economy. I want to be zested up the road, of course, within the speed limit. Of course. So we have a full tank of gas, which is important. We want to check out our Rima first. Nice. Then we'll head to Manzan. My, my guess on doubles anyway, who knows? Um, Manzan, they have a lobster, man, if you open. I don't know, I don't know if your pocket you have some Won't cash. Won't you buy any in a row? Well, I know that you know, your pocket has some cash. <laughs> so the seat belt. Seat belt, safety first. You can put some coconuts up there. Nice. And beaches open as I was saying, so... We want like corn, hopefully we might get some corn up there too. Manzan have corn? There was corn, we can see. But you just say you never went to Manzan. We can heard about it. Yeah, yeah. heard about it. We can see what they have. So this, so this is a leather interior. Leather interior, leather up steering wheel. Same eight inch display with climate, but well, we go talk about that on you. We have plenty of time, plenty, plenty of time. The whole day ahead. So, alright, so this is drive there. There's a nice seven inch touch screen display. Okay. They're starting to show off. As I tell them, I'm, I'm not in the market to buy a car, and I want to <laughs> tell people about it, how cool the cars are. For oh, sure. Send on the handbrake. Handbrakes. Send it down, that's good. Release. Good to go. We'll be ready to roll. Oh, very responsive. There she goes. Well, the road really busy today. Traffic as normal. Um, and I don't want to be one of those that, you know, they say keep left except when overtaking. Exactly. And right now, right now I'm in the right lane. So let me try and move over to this. So, Rob, that's why we have Honda Lane Watch. Lane Watch? Yeah. So, with Honda Lane Watch, uh -huh. it helps give drivers a better idea regarding what's going on along the passenger side of the vehicle. Right. The system features a camera mounted on the passenger side door mirror. When the left turn signal is activated, that camera comes on and an image of the rear left of the vehicle is shown on this display. Try it. So again, I can still keep focused on the screen. Focus right here. And I don't have to be looking You're not doing like, all this. like this bed neck ostrich thing I just did there. Yeah, try it and all see right. how it goes. So behind this truck, indicate. It's always got to indicate. Wow. Look at that. Visibility. Yeah. Now that Over is clarity. There. That's clarity. It allows me to make a quick maneuver as quick well. Quick maneuver. Safe. No, there's also a button at the end of the turn signal. Mm -hmm. When activated, a real-time display comes on here, regardless of whether the turn signal is activated or not. So I want press, you to try that now. Press this little car button here. Yeah. Uh, Look at that. And that stays on all that the time. That stays on all the time. That's Until right. you take it off. That 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 will have stay on even when I'm parked. Yeah. But that's good for security as for well. For security reasons. So yeah. I can, you know, if I'm monitoring this side, if I'm pulled up, you know, in a secure manner, I can monitor what's happening on the, on the left side. Exactly. So, for instance, let's just say you're heading home in the night, you're opening your remote control gate, mm -hmm. 
you turn on this camera to see if anybody's sneaking up towards your family right. in the vehicle. God so forbid. You, God forbid. So you're safe all around. Rob, a next nice cool feature the car has is a full panoramic sunroof. I know your bald head and thing and the sun, but let me show you. So this panoramic sunroof opens all the way back, allowing for more natural light into the cabin. I immediately I feel like there's more space or it just feels like I'm like a going on a nice drive. Yeah. And what's even nicer is you have a date in the car. You allow that natural moonlight to come in. You set the ambience for a more romantic tone. Yeah. All the way headed to Manson on a roof off. Well, my roof blew off a long time. <laughs> so you're right now follicle challenge, but I think I'm rocking it. Yes, red, man. Red man rocking it. And as you mentioned, going to Manzanella. If you had a non Manzanella with the family, you know, the kids at the back would love the scenery. Look at all yeah. this full panoramic sunroof. Yeah, I've been wanting to twist my neck and look around now <laughs> to see this. And next thing you could do with all this natural light coming, it allows for perfectly lit selfies. <laughs> I think it about the vitamin D and so on on my head. You definitely get it. You may see some growth because of the sunroof. <laughs> well, BJ, this is a long drive, so I play some tunes, a yeah. little parang, a little soca, a little something. I felt. Oh, are we okay this so up? I'm sure this cool feature. So the CRV comes equipped with Apple CarPlay, Android Auto. So it really doesn't matter what type of phone you have. Nope, compatible with both. So once you have your genuine USB cord, plug in your phone. Enable ones or always enable, and all the compatible apps come on the screen. Everything up there, one time, everything got to play my tunes. A little Bob, a little Parang, a little Bob, a little Parang, a little Soka. Rob, you know, you always on the phone. So, the Apple CarPlay and Android Auto allows you to keep your eyes on the road and hands, hands on, on the road, wheel. hands on the wheel, eyes on the road, always, Rob, hands on the wheel, hands 10 to 2, wheel. 10 and 2. So all your compatible apps on the 7 inch touchscreen display, convenience at your fingertips. So this is about what, 7 or 8 inches across? 7 inch display. So therefore, I, I mean I still need to look in my peripheral, take a glance, Waze. Yeah. I see you have WhatsApp there as you well. You have WhatsApp as well. We can text and drive. Not advisable too. But with this it makes it safer. Right. You still have the feature. You really? have the feature, you're not physically holding your phone. You can respond in via the system. Right. So a traffic light or you pull to the side or you're in a car exactly. park. Exactly. Okay. Don't text and drive. Don't text and drive. So what about your CRV? My CRV, I like that one. <laughs> I'm always a salesman. I, I love it. I love it. it, it it's big. It, it feels comfortable as I'm driving it. And right. I love the rugged feel, yeah. more importantly. But well, the CRV aggressively styled from bumper to bumper while maintaining a sophisticated edge that short to turn heads. So you'll see all the curves on the CRV. Yeah. So you'd have a reason for that. Nice curves. Nice Aerodynamics. Curves. I like the curves. Aside from the curves, the vehicle also ensures that you're safe. The vehicle has an ACE body structure. So you know what ACE body structure stands for? No, and I wouldn't even pretend. So advanced compatibility engineering. So what that is basically is a technology okay. exclusive to Honda. In the event of right. a collision, it transfers that collision energy around the chassis of the vehicle, away from the cabin area. Mm. So you and your loved ones totally safe inside here, while minimizing the impact on the other vehicle. Engineering. Oh, engineering. Well, Honda's not, Honda's about that. Eh? Honda does not play with safety. It's an engineering company. So what about the oomph? What about the oomph? Let me check it out. Yeah. Good there. So there's the powerhouse for the CRV. I see your turbo there. Turbo right here. So Honda completely overhauled this engine to increase your fuel economy and increase the horsepower from 153 to 190 and there's a 1.5 turbocharged engine. That's a, that's a big jump. Yeah, so what that means for you is you have 25% more increase in horsepower and greater fuel economy. So basically it's harder to stay at, eight, at 100 k now. Which you should. Which I should, <laughs> but harder to stay at that. It's harder to stay at that. Well, I'm going to show you the dial and then Manzan. Sure, sounds good. Put that on you.
Take any view. Next stop, Mayaro. How many do you feel, boy? I feel about 36. I think so too, about 37. And we could have put more. True. I'm certain. Well, there you go. Will you continue? And this is the famous Point Radix. I'm glad I was able to get to see this room. How many people get to come in? Let me show you some more cool things. With the key fob, you could vent the cabin. Press it twice, pull it down, unlock button. Glasses drop, sunroof opens. Nice. If you wanted to remote start the vehicle, you could also do that too. And AC that? pump in here. So by the thing, time, of course, so by the time you reach inside the vehicle, it's a nice conducive temperature. I'm going to show you how we do that. Press the unlock button, release, and hold on the remote start button. The light flash amber, release, uh -huh. and the vehicle's idling. To switch it off, hold on back the remote start button, it's off. Another thing we could do, could open the powered tailgate. I'm going to show you how we do that. Pull the tailgate button. Sounding like a proud father, boy. Proud ICRV, man. Nice. I have one question with all of these fancy features, all of these acronyms you're telling, them, telling sure. me about. What does CRV stand for? Comfortable Runabout Vehicle. Hmm. With all that, I want to take a swim. Sure, no problem. But wait, Rob, what's going on with the watermelon? Do you have any back there? Rob! Rob! This man go in, boy. one test drive down. Now, we know due to COVID-19, everyone is concerned with the sanitizing of the vehicle before they get in. Well, the process of sanitizing vehicles between test drives is thorough, so you can feel safe and secure to come down to the showroom for your own try behind the wheel of any vehicle at Answer Motors. That's also true for each and every service done at the service center. Both the Answer Motors staff and the car owners are well taken care of with proper procedures designed to protect all. I'm heading into the showroom next where Jamie Mackey is going to meet me. I heard she's super knowledgeable about everything, but I wonder if she'll be ready for all my questions. Let's see. Hi, Jamie. Hi, Mari. All right, going to stop right here. I have on no mask. So what we're going to do, we're going to go and sanitize, take temperature, and then we'll take a little walk around. Sure, let's Come, let's go. go. Yep. Perfect. Perfect. Love the smell. Yeah. Not too sticky. Good. Love it. All right. Ready for the tour? Ready, and I have lots of questions no for you. No problem. You ready? All right. Yes. You so, sure? Yes. <laughs> oh, at least I hope so. So this is the showroom. Uh huh. All right. Me. Oh, look at you. <laughs> How long have you been at Honda? Four years. Do you drive manual or automatic? Automatic. Favorite car color? White. Hip hop or R and B? Mm, R and B. Spell. Caro Pachaima. Salespeople desk. All right, uh, Carapachima, C-A-R-A-P-I-C-H-A-I-M-A. -A -A. Uh, I don't know either way, it's fine. <laughs> All right. Sedan or SUV? Sedan. 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 Sedan.
sit down. They're way more sexy. Mm, I agree. Describe Honda in three words. Uh, super fun, sometimes challenging, but always a very good time. Why say challenging? You know, <laughs> reasons. All right, all right. What's worse, the doctor's waiting room or morning traffic? Doctor's waiting room because that means there are sick people in there. So true. So my what? CRV on this side, fully loaded. Oh, I like this one. <laughs> What's better, fried chicken or doubles? Doubles. Slide pepper, everything in it, please and thanks. That's me. Civic Ever. on this side. Sweet. Ever drove on the other side of the road in a foreign country? No, I'm too scared. <laughs> Plants or pets? Uh, pets, but I have both. Mm. How many USB ports are in the CRV? In the CRV you have, in the fabric, you have two. And then in the fully loaded, you have four. Perfect. Yeah. A cord on this side. Cricket or football? Whichever team has the better looking players. I agree. <laughs> How many coolers can you fit in the city? I have no idea, but you could fit about six cases of beer. I think I'm going to try before I leave. <laughs> <laughs> How many different Honda models are in the showroom? About six. Ever gotten a ticket for being on the phone while driving? Very stupidly, yes, but now I have a Honda, so I don't have that problem. Oh, there you go. Nickname growing up? Oh, God, a lot. Name them. Oscar, Tall Thing, oh, Tallest. Oh, goodness. Yeah, a few. <laughs> <laughs> Windows down or aircon? Aircon is way too hot. Okay, last question. Uh -huh. Favorite thing about your job? The people aspect. So both people in here and the customers. Mm. There is always a good time between us. Jamie, you are so sweet. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. Coming up on the showroom. So we've been in the CRV, now it's time to go in the city. Now the CRV was a bumper ride, but they say the city is a bit smoother. We're going to take up a road through the city, and they say a guy my size can easily fit in this car. There we go. All right, yeah. Nice. Hey. 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 <laughs> hey, Jamie. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. I'm. I'm really excited about this one. Okay. Um, you know, because we're going to talk about the power it has, right. the fuel efficiency, of course. And, um, you know, I'm, I'm immediately pleased by the space. You know, I, I don't feel uncomfortable at all. It's, I haven't even adjusted my seats as yet. It's good for us tall folks. It is. <laughs> it is. And, yeah, and tall and big, you know, at, at this point. But um, it, it, it really is amazing. I really, really wasn't expecting um, the space inside of it. And the bonus is I love a new car smell. Yes, everybody <laughs> loves that. All right, so let's exit the showroom. things um, that you when you talk about the city of course is the CNG and the fuel efficiency some of even yep. exaggerated I assume to the point where they say you know you can get three months on a tank now that's probably people who don't pass the lighthouse but yeah, in general <laughs> yeah but in general it's tell me about um, what what can one expect from a city all right so number one we have to remember it's by fuel so where they say, yeah, I could keep a whole three months of gas. That's referring to the super tank. Right. Because remember, it's an automatic system. So it changes from the super over to the CNG automatically. All right. The CNG is where you're going to get your super savings. Right. So $14 to fill your tank. And that will give you anywhere between 150 to 200 kilometers. So if you're custom beaten highway, about three port of Spain to San Fernando runs. That's not bad. I mean, yeah. you, you, you can't ask for more than that. But when you say the super to the CNG, CNG, is, is would I feel a dip in the power when it sort of no, crosses you over? No, you won't feel any dip in power. There's a sensor system for that. Okay. Yeah. So we're heading to the, the gas station to fill up because um, I specifically asked them for an empty tank. I'm looking at the um, fuel meter here. Right. 
and it, it looks as if it has like three quarter tank. Right, so that's your super gauge, yes. Oh, okay. So, super as in fuel? Yeah. So we have fuel then? Yeah. Of course, we need to have fuel to drive. Right. No, meaning like in terms of, I thought it was empty. The but, CNG tank is empty. Oh, the CNG yeah. tank is empty. Okay, okay. So, so what is it? Buy fuel. Yeah. When you start, you always start using super. Right. You don't have control over that. That's okay. just what the car does. Right. You start using super, engine warms, and it switches over automatically to your CNG. Okay. Once you have CNG in the tank. Right. And that's where that lovely little button over there, that's mm -hmm. where that will come in. So you'll see the difference when we fill. So you'll see these two flashing lights. Right. One side of that is going to tell you which fuel you're using, and then the other side is going to tell you how much CNG you have. Right. So once you're I never, switch on, mm -hmm. it immediately goes to CNG. Or not, super. E not immediately. You're going to start using the super, mm -hmm. engine warms, and then switches over to the CNG. CNG. Okay. What sort of um, savings, savings have you heard customer? I have a customer who actually sent me an entire spreadsheet just for me to get, you know, like a proper idea of what he used to spend every month right. and what he spends now. Wow. Because, yeah. So he also has, because it's him and his wife, he has a Navara and then sometimes they share the city. Right. So same thing, cost of diesel has gone mm -hmm. up as well. So, and he sent me this little spreadsheet and he went from spending $1,800 to going anywhere between $400 to $600. Wow, that is, that is, yeah. that's impressive savings. That's not it like, is. you know, 200 here. That's, that's a whole price smart, you know, shopping list there, you know, depends yep. on exactly. you topping up your groceries. Yeah. So city on, on the whole, um, not being a, a it's not a, you clearly identify it's a unisex car people don't even make the differentiation no, is it then really. apart from the savings on fuel the right. cost the price of the car as well and yeah. you're getting a honda and uh, give me a honda a honda <laughs> engineered car yep i feel like i'm going to a park you know, this is like a whole experience <laughs> there right now you know because uh, i've always seen it you know i've always pulled up in the in the station yeah. and i've seen people filling up and wondered, okay, what they're going to do, and you know, now I'm now I'm getting experience at first hand. What what what's the process? Do I press a button? Do I? Well, of course you're in the gas station, so mm -hmm. you need to switch off. That Most would important. Be very important. Yeah. You also want to open the gas lid right. for the attendant because that would help. You are actually not allowed to pump CNG on your own. The attendant oh, will do it for you. Okay, okay, yeah, okay. Because it's a high pressure system that right. they're using. Right. right. So now we go through. Do we have a card or what's the other? I have $14 in my wallet if you like. <laughs> There you go. And it changed. I'm liking my vehicle, but I'm loving this. Good. That's what we like to hear. Yeah, it's smooth. I mean, you're coming up Rice Road, everybody knows about the dip and the jump. And um, I'm not feeling... I'm not feeling it. I'm not, I'm not feeling all the normal movements that I normally get with um, my vehicle or other vehicles. Yeah. The vehicles that shall not be named. Let's switch this on for us real quick. Turn down the volume so everyone can hear us, of course. Good tune. All right. So, now you have your seven inch display. You have touchscreen deck, of course. Mm -hmm. With your touchscreen deck, you're gonna have a few important things. Number one, your reverse camera to the back. It is a multi-angle reverse camera. So right. you have three different views that are gonna help you with different situations so you don't go bouncing up the back of the car. Hopefully. Ho hopefully. Hopefully, hopefully camera just shows you what you <laughs> yeah could you are you hit. are in control yeah let's just remember that so you will also have with your camera view you have the guidelines so the guidelines will help you determine just how far you are from a particular object so if you have to reverse against a wall if you work in port of spain like me and you need to parallel park so you don't hit the car behind so you have the guidelines there to help you Do as I have well beep, 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 no it's no? not gonna okay. be but that's where the guidelines come in right yeah. all right good now and of course everything is on the dash so you choose which view that you want to help you in that particular situation 
also in your dash, of course, music. You know, Trinity people like their music. Like them, of course. There you go. So you have Slam. FM, yeah. You have your FM, so all of our stations. I like a little Val and Danny on the morning. Take a little laugh. And then you have your AM, eh, it doesn't really exist anymore. Yeah. But you have your Bluetooth, you have USB, and you have HDMI. Okay. All right. Everything is also controlled for your audio from your steering wheel. So there's no need to look away from the road onto your dash. Right. There's no need for that. Okay. You control, your thumb is going to remember what to do. All right. So you're going to touch source and it's going to cycle you through each option, whichever one you want. So whether you have music on your phone, because before you drive out to the showroom, I'm going to make sure that your Bluetooth is set up properly, or you plug in a flash drive or any other device that has music on it. It's a simple plug in and play. That's it. So would I get an opportunity to bang out some bourgeois or something to see whether these speakers can By all it? means, I'm glad for that. I just want to let you know that while we're taking this drive and then we're going to cross the Magnificent Seven, nice. um, that I'm purposely playing golf. I'm going in these holes because I want to really <laughs> test out the shop. It's not that I'm no driving problem. badly. I just really want to buy a license. <laughs> city and not go around the city to the Magnificent Seven. Agreed. So I've talked a lot about the interior of the car and the power and I know we're going to try it out on Hololo just now to really feel the power of this vehicle. Mm -hmm. What are some of the things that, that, you know, can wow me with regards to the engine? Alright, so, you have a 1.5 litre engine. Mm -hmm. I think we've gone on and on about Super C engine, yeah, so yeah. we're good to go there. Um, so it's a 1.5 IV tech. Right. And you have CVT transmission, which we spoke about a little earlier as well. So it gives you a nice smooth ride. Now, where Holalo is concerned, you're going to want to know about torque and horsepower, right? Yeah. So you have your 120 horsepower. I'm listening to you. I'm just loving it. Yeah. I'm loving the reverse camera that just told me that guy is behind me. Great. Nice. Because other than that, I would have hit him. Yep. Yeah. So you have your 120 horsepower. So we'll be good to go going up your hill. And I know you guys can't see, but you know what I love about Trinidad? There's always someone to direct you. So it's like, you know. <laughs> yes. This is the part I've been waiting for, so we really are doing all alone. Yes. I am very excited. We can do Chancellor, we can do a smoother hill. <laughs> you sure we can do all alone in we this? We can do all alone. With in, my big self in it. With your big self in the Honda City. Smoothly, power, I don't have to yes. get out and push anything. Don't have to no, call, I'm, not, I'm not getting out of Nothing like that. <laughs> no. So far, so good. I know we're only on the flat passing massive. The real test is when, as most hikers or trekkers or fitness enthusiasts know, when you reach the pink house, right. that's where you start. I see. And then there's a, there's a part they call, um, what's it called? The Oh Jesus. The Oh Jesus <laughs> part. It's normally at pole 58. And so pole 58 to pole 64 is the old Jesus part because when you reach there you literally tell yourself oh Jesus, oh, Jesus. I can't make it <laughs> no tires are peeling nope. the car is not on any distress and that's pretty cool because there are some inclines here that are as steep as all along but again I'm waiting to see it on the bumpy road going up there passing pole 58 oh Jesus <laughs> to see whether or not this car is worth its own let the games begin. Let the games begin. Railroad in this portal. Let's see how we do.
very impressed. Mm -hmm. Some hiccups, right. can't get away from it. Not a lot you can expect from, I mean, it is a front wheel drive after all. Yep. It is the city, it's not probably meant for the hard grind in the bush life, but very impressed. <laughs> I saw the power, right. I experienced it. Um, so when we had to switch over from Super to CNG, um, that there were some so, somewhat scary moments, but I think that was more me getting accustomed to the car than, than what the car is actually capable of. Yeah. I'll give it that. The truth is we're at the top of Holalo. It made yeah. it. We didn't need a push. We didn't need a tow truck. We didn't need a <laughs> range or anything to pull it out. Yeah. So, what can I say, you know, kudos. You what go. else about the car? All right, so now in terms of the look, very stylish. Kind of copies a little bit your Civic, because of course, if you've seen the Civic, very sleek. Of course, you also have your LED lights to the back, extra trimmings to the bottom, so you have your contrast with your, well, in this one, your white, and of course, the black at the bottom. All of your tags, IV Tech for your engine, and of course, your CNG, and your lovely Honda logo. Hola lo, those who know it, know it. Those who don't, try it, and you'll see why the city has impressed us today. Well, Robert, we're here. Might as well take in the view. City of Port of Spain, in front of the Honda City. Our time is almost up, but before we go, we decided to put the Honda City to the test when it comes to that famous fuel efficiency. One tank of gas? How many days would it take Robert before he has to fill up again? Let's find out. We've come to the end of our all-access visit at the Honda showroom. And Robert, do you see what I told you? Seven days, right? Seven days. I must have been married. I doubted you from the start. But not only did it go up all the low hill, but I got seven days. I tested it out. I put it to the wire. It was a mix of super and CNG, but uh -huh. I got seven days. No I was way. I was super impressed. I saw something like $12.31 or $14 at the pump and I'm like, wow, I had time to go and get a sandwich. I'm telling you. So Rob, let's, let's calculate that. That is how much savings a month? The, um, it's, it's almost, when I calculate it, it's almost half the savings on your monthly installments. Wow, so I could I, do my nails, my hair, once a week. I could do my hair, I could get my beard <laughs> done, you know, and still have time for two bottles oh, of scotch. And a bottle of wine too, right? <laughs>